What's the medicine that you take daily that you can't go without? Eloquiz as a 20-something year or old always gets me funny reactions. I was on birth control for a few months before it formed the largest DVT my surgeon had ever seen. They tried to dissolve it with the medication that ended up having to have a thrombectomy and the stint placed at the ripe age of 25. Turns out I have a genetic clotting disorder called Factor V Leiden. If you're on birth control please pay attention to any lower back pain shortness of breath, or sudden color changes of your skin. TVTs are no joke. I'm on a transdermal scorpolamine patch for a constant nausea issue. I basically wear one all the time except for every three days while I'm in the shower. If I go more than about 40 minutes without one on, I start feeling it. That patch and my relief bund are the two things that give me functional days. I become literally incapacitated if I don't have one on for three hours, and very ill in a much shorter timeline. Eloquiz keeps my blood from clotting and giving me a heart attack or stroke. Dutasteride and minoxidil and spironolactone keep my hair on my head and they ever so slowly are growing. Back some of what I lost female baldness is fucking horrible to live with. Cyclobenzaprine helps keep my unbelievably painful nighttime leg cramps to a livable minimum. A few others put those aren't daily. Right now it's becoming apparent that it's ibuprofen. I've been bothered with restless legs for a while now. And if it's not restless legs it's my reflux playing up. I started on iron supplements last week, but so far no progress. Still bothered by the restless legs and chronic fatigue. I'd rather avoid going to my GP so over-the-counter medicines will have to suffice. Ephixa. For my general anxiety. Not only would I be miserable from anxiety, I would go into very unpleasant withdrawals. Though there is nothing that would kill me in the next year if I stopped taking it. I would have some short-term and long-term damage though, and some would be unpleasant for a while. Line the fixer withdrawals. Omeprazole used to consume an average of 10-12 tons a day, which is vastly over the recommended amount. For chronic heartburn, Diet changes did nothing. Tums helped but only temporarily. Been on one omeprazole daily for almost a week, and I've taken one ton since starting. And that was just course I woke up choking due to reflux. A caffeine pill. I don't like coffee and energy drinks make me have to pee constantly. If I don't take it, or have caffeine, at the same time every day, I get a massive headache. The worst part is, I don't even need it. It doesn't do much for my energy level. At this point, I just take it to avoid a headache. Norethindrin acetate dot dot. I take it for endometriosis. It keeps me from ovulating getting a menstrual cycle. The one day I didn't take it, I was in so much pain. Started vomiting uncontrollably like I had norovirus. And then the bleeding started. Out the hard way I cannot skip that one. Insulin and Adderall, to be fair. Going without my Adderall isn't going to kill me, I'll just be in a low-level daze. The best way I can describe it is like when your computer slows down. Because there are so many processes running that your RAM usage is at 99. Blood thinner. I've a blood clotting disorder protein S and antithrombin deficiencies. Had a few DVTs and another pay on comodine as I'm warfarin resistant. But now that I'm on one of the neuroanticoags, all good. My painkillers, for different kinds, my prednisone, and my approximately 20 other tablets I have to take daily thanks to my fibromyalgia, my adrenal gland, kidney and liver problems, it sucks. I can't leave the house without taking a box of tablets with me. Five months. I'm on 80 milligrams and I went until 23, being completely unmedicated on some superiority bullshit and when I did get diagnosed and medicated it was a night and day difference. It's still crazy being able to focus on a single task for longer than 30 minutes. Propanellol, Romapril, Welbutrin, Alprazolam and Mirtzapine. The first are heart meds without the myrrhythmia goes haywire. The last three means I can sleep without night terrors and actually be a functioning adult. I'm a mess. Well, I have bipolar disorder so lithium, lamictal, and latuda. Without them I'm a crazy mess. Psychotic. Suicidal. Woohoo. All the emotions. I'm stable with these meds and people would never guess I'm a secret crazy person.
Thy Vance M A D D since age six and a traumatic brain injury. My co-workers usually ask me if I forgot it while I'm dancing in the classroom. Thankfully, I work in sped, so I'm allowed. Also, my gobapentin for the ADHD rage. My hive medication. It keeps the hive undetectable, and I can't transmit it to anyone else as long as I take it. It also keeps it from developing from just hive infection to having full-blown AIDS. Hence, keeps me alive. Substances you've never tested, in particular, party drugs. I knew of a person who died at a music festival from ingesting bogus molly. Very depressing. Try your crap out. Don't use heroin or meth, though. I have to take Soroquel or I don't sleep. I've been hospitalized and had tests done. Severe insomnia. If I don't drink them, I just don't get sleepy and will go days without ever experiencing actual sleep. Any of my psych meds. I remember my life unmedicated, and I wouldn't survive long. I've had years of therapy to help reframe my thinking and teach me coping skills, but the chemical imbalances remain. Lexapro. I've been one minor inconvenience away from never leaving my house again to many times in my life. Prolonged daily panic attacks are exhausting, and I'm glad my doctor taught me intermeds. Apparently my birth control. Oh, I'd see how life was like without it. Turns out my endometriosis is really fucking painful without them. Went to the pharmacy today to get a new supply. Lithium and then levothyroxine. Because I got a thyroid disorder from the lithium and omeprazole because I got fat from the lithium and thyroid disorder and now I get heartburn a lot. ADHD and NDD pills. I also take magnesium to sleep and berberin. It's a lot. I'm only 31. Oh, and omega. My only unnatural pills are just the two. Everything else is naturally done. Probiotic. Was able to get off my antidepressant and quit my cancer meds due to side effects. Tried to go off everything. But the simple little probiotic keeps my tummy happy. So laughed. It took me about 20 years of suffering through completely debilitating OCD to try it. And I only wish I had gone on it much sooner. My quality of life has vastly improved. Ephixa. It keeps my otherwise crippling OCD mostly in check. Additionally, if I forget a dose it causes me to feel like I am physically dying within 12 hours. So there's that. My birth control and propranolol. My period was debilitating to the point where I couldn't walk for two days minimum and my anxiety. Meds which keeps the psychosis away. Exemestin aramacin. A hormone suppressant to keep my S3 estrogen eating breast cancer in remission bonus wicket hot. Flashes and hair loss. Plus bone loss. You. Citalopram. My antidepressant. After a day without, I start getting the brain zaps common with SSRI discontinuation. After two days, the dark thoughts come back. My brain pills. They stabilize my mood and keep me from doing stupid shit. Like thinking the birds outside are listening to my thoughts and barricading the windows. Prilosec. I didn't have heartburn until I was 37. I went for sleepless nights and thought I was having a heart attack before I texted a friend who is an ETA doctor. Philazadoni. I worry that one of the days my farm fucks up my prescription that'll just be it. My brain cannot handle not having. Everything is self-harm worthy. Fluixotine, aka Prozac. I went three days without it once as it was backarded and I didn't get my prescription refill in until last minute and it was horrible. I don't barely even Advil unless I'm bad off. I figure this will buy my body some time for when I'm really old and needing to pump all sorts of Ned's law. Metropolal. My heart loves to go out 100 BPM resting naturally. Sometimes will spike to 130,140 or doing regular tasks which is kind of a problem. My ADHD meds. Can't drive without them, can't work. Or even read a book or focus BC then I'm extremely hyper from. The age part of the ad hyperactivity. If I don't take my olanzapine I almost always become manic. I technically won't die. But I will go balls to the wall insane. And we don't want that. Epilepsy meds. And because I'm epileptic take lots of meds. I can't take the pill. Antidepressants or have a corneal transplant. So yeah, 
effort. Hope all these commenters with chemical dependencies have a lil stash for FSHTF. Kinda have two wean off M when the pharmacies are barren. I don't think you want to read a whole paragraph. I have a basket full of meds I take in the morning and in the evening another handful. Add all three OIR bid. Caffeine and cannabis. The older I get, the more I've realized people are just little chemical processing machines. Ozempic. I'm diabetic. Stop using it as a vanity weight loss medication because I didn't have it for two weeks due to a shortage. I don't really notice the effects of Welbutrin, but I suppose that. I also take Tylenol PM every night, which I know I shouldn't. Insulin. I ran out in my pump one day and my sugar was super high and I eat like shit. Reminded me of how bad I felt pre-diagnosis. Neotozepin and lamotrigine keeps my bipolar ass a bit more stable, and I haven't had any epileptic seizure for two years now I think. Cannabis and coffee. Yes. Seriously. Haters won't listen to my reasoning no matter how right I am. But the people who know, know. I take for pills every day, but the one I notice most if I miss is propranolol. I take it for a tremor, so I get shaky without it. Kepra, for a seizure disorder. It's been nearly nine years since my last full-blown seizure, and I'd like this trend to continue. Fibroid, I used to sleep 12-14 hours a day. Never felt good, always crying. Now I can function like a real person. It's awesome. Hydroxychloroquine for rheumatoid arthritis. Keeps me from swelling, rushing, and helps ease a bit of the chronic pain involved. Oxycodone or THC. If I have to put up with the bullshit you'll put out on a daily basis, I might as well be nine sheets to the bed.